You're watching the news on Bahrain International. I'm Hamid Shaban. Good evening. The first deputy president of the Supreme Council for Youth and Sports and president of the Bahrain Olympic Committee, His Highness Sheikh Khalid bin Hamid Al Khalifa, witnessed the bouts which took place as part of Brave 29 and KHK World Open Championship, which took place as part of the 2019 Brave International Combat Week. The event is regarded as the biggest sports event at the Asian level and is being held at the Khalifa Sports City Gym. The Friday's fights were held amid high attendance of their highnesses, their excellencies, VIPs and dignitaries, as well as many officials. His Highness Sheikh Khalid said the MMA sport in the kingdom is moving on the right track thanks to the joint efforts being exerted by all international federations and the fighters towards developing their performances. His Highness Sheikh Khalid further described the fights that took place as highly exciting, stating that they featured different strategies. His Highness Sheikh Khalid congratulated the winners in both events. The Khalifa Sports City Arena was the stage for another historical milestone for Brave Combat Federation, where Bahrain's Hamza al kuhiji lived up to his nickname, Bahrain's Pride, by emerging a victor of the cage and winning against his Argentinian rival. Hamza honored his country by scoring a new record in a sport that went from 0 to 100 in the kingdom. Thanks to the efforts of His Highness Sheikh Khalid bin Hamad Al Khalifa's relentless work in providing local fighters with a platform to become the heroes they deserve. As you can see, it's a house full sold out event. 
and uh, we had to close the doors outside because there's so much more people coming in. The, the success of the event is not just putting on a great event, which is we have a great team that has always been putting on a great event. We, we've done that in 29 uh, times of Brave, 12 times in each country outside of Bahrain. So we have the experience. But the most important thing is, it's about the development of the sport in the country. This is an example of what infrastructure and sports need. So today we are not only seeing international fighters competing in Bahrain, we are not seeing that Bahrain, not only seeing that Bahrain has a capability to bring in international events. We see today our biggest event, Brave. Uh, the, the audience are amazing. You see the crowd, the, the place is full. We are proud that we have this brand under the patronage of Sheikh Al Muhammad Al Khalifa. You can hear the crowd. Uh, we are proud to have this event. We are proud that Brave is our brand. We are proud that we are delivering His Highness Sheikh Al Bin Hamad vision. The Brave Championship, which is today one of the largest sports gatherings in the world, has proven that it has made its way towards success and confirming that it is indeed a Bahraini trademark in MMA sports at an international level. You know, Bahrain hosting this event, the Brave International Combat Week, is to cement the status in the MMA. Currently, Bahrain is ranked number one internationally in the amateur and youth. So having this event here, A, is part of the sport, uh, sporting tourism that His Highness Sheikh Nasser is promoting. And two, is, this is all the vision of His Highness Sheikh Khalid bin Hamad, who wanted to put Bahrain on the international sp uh, scene, especially in the MMA world. So uh, I can't wait for next year. Uh, Bahrain hosting the World Championship and the Brave International Week. And the progression of Brave uh, and Brave International Fight Week has been amazing for the past three years. Um, of course, it started already at a high level three years ago, but every year it has become a bigger event, a better and a more prestigious event, thanks to the vision of His Highness Sheikh Khalid. Brave provided a platform for introducing the Kingdom of Bahrain to the whole world as a country of many sports accomplishments, as well as building more collaborative opportunities with various sports buddies around the world, opening new horizons. This also highlights the Kingdom's position and ability to host and organize competitions of mixed martial arts at an international level. Reporting for Bahrain International, I'm Yasmin Ibrahim. In the presence of the Deputy Chairman of the Rashid Equestrian and Horse Racing Club, His Highness Sheikh Isa bin Salman bin Hamid Al Khalifa, the club organized the third race of the season, which was held on the Tylus Plastic Factories Company Cup, the Sayyid Sharaf Al Alawi Cup, and the Safra Stable Cup of the Arabian Horses on the race track on the club in Sakhir. The race was also attended by His Highness Sheikh Sultan al Din bin Mohammed bin Salman Al Khalifa, the Chairman of the Royal Equestrian and Racing Federation, His Highness Sheikh Isa bin Abdullah bin Isa Al Khalifa, His Highness Sheikh Nuh bin Mohammed bin Salman Al Khalifa, His Highness Sheikh Isa bin Abdullah bin Isa al-Khalifa and representatives of the Tylus Plastic Industries Company and an audience of horse racing fans. His Highness Sheikh Isa bin Salman presented a trophy for the Safra Arabian Horses Cup to the winner Abdullah al kwaiti while the winners of the Tylus Plastic Factories Company Cup were awarded by the general manager of the Tylus Plastic Industries, Adil al-Jabri, which were Ab Ibrahim al-Afu and His Highness Sheikh Isa bin Abdullah bin Isa al-Khalifa. Then the CEO of the plastic factories company Tylus, Isam al-Jabri, presented the second half cup to the winning owner Abdul Abdullah, while the chairman of the board of directors of Tylus Factories Plastic, Farhan al-Said, presented the sixth cup to the winning owner Abdullah Fawzinas and the seventh cup to the winner Anas Siabi. He also presented a commemorative gift from the Tylus Plastic Industries to the executive director of the Rashid Equestrian and Racing Club, Sheikh Salman bin Rashid al-Khalifa, while His Highness Sheikh Mohammed bin Abdullah bin Isa al-Khalifa received the cup of the late Sayyid Sharaf al-Alawi from the supervisor of the race Khalid al-Alawi.
His Royal Highness the Prime Minister, Prince Khalifa bin Salman Al Khalifa, delegated advisor of the Prime Minister, His Highness Sheikh Salman bin Khalifa Al Khalifa, to attend the 15th graduation ceremony of AMA University. The ceremony, which was patronized by His Royal Highness the Premier and held at the Gulf Hotel, was attended by the Philippines envoy to the Gulf Cooperation Council and honorary president of AMA, Amabel Aguiles, along with a number of officials, AMA staff members, and families of the graduating students. His Highness conveyed the greetings and congratulations of His Royal Highness the Premier to the graduating students and their families, as well as his wishes for constant success. His Highness affirmed that the government, head by His Royal Highness, regards the education sector as one of the pillars upon which its development policies and strategies are based, and that it is a key component of the development of the country's human resources. His Highness expressed admiration for the level of the university's performance, which aims to graduate students who are well prepared for the labor market and its requirements. His Highness congratulated the students and their families and wished them further success.
Shura Council Chairman Ali bin Saleh Hassanah has stressed that thanks to His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa's reform and democratic approach, the kingdom has become a land of tolerance and an oasis of peace and coexistence for various social groups. Hassanah regarded the establishment of the King Hamad Global Center for a Peaceful Coexistence as an advanced step within His Majesty the King's approach aimed at promoting the values and principles of peace, tolerance, and coexistence. In a statement marking the International Day of Tolerance, which is observed on November the 16th every year, the Shura Council Chairman affirmed that Bahrain embodies the meanings of of humanity, tolerance, coexistence, and acceptance of the other, as well as interfaith dialogue by embracing and sponsoring various institutions and civil organizations that represent various groups and segments regardless of their religious or sectarian affiliations. The Shura chairman pointed out that the kingdom has always been and will remain a basic partner in implementing peace plans in various countries, citing its contributions to renouncing violence and extremism as well as support for rapprochement among religions and sects. He also noted that Bahrain has hosted multiple events and conferences calling for promoting rapprochement harmony, tolerance, and coexistence, as well as for denouncing hatred and sectarian conflicts. He added that Bahrain is among the first countries to have ratified the Universal Declaration of Human Rights, which he said consolidated the kingdom's good reputation in this regard, reflected its rich history and respect for human rights, promotion of the values of tolerance, and constant keenness to build relations based on respect and acceptance of the other. The Minister of Foreign Affairs, Sheikh Khalid bin Ahmed bin Mohammed Al Khalifa, was received today by His Highness the Crown Prince of Abu Dhabi and Deputy Supreme Commander of the UAE Armed Forces, Sheikh Mohammed bin Zayed Al Nahyan. In the presence of the Minister of Foreign Affairs and International Cooperation of the UAE, His Highness Sheikh Abdullah bin Zayed Al Nahyan, on the sidelines of the 10th Sir Benias Forum, which is held annually by the Emirati Ministry of Foreign Affairs. During the meeting, His Highness Sheikh Khalid bin Ahmed conveyed the greetings of His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa, His Royal Highness the Prime Minister Prince Khalifa bin Salman Al Khalifa, and His Royal Highness the Crown Prince, Deputy Supreme Commander and First Deputy Prime Minister Prince Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa to His Highness the Crown Prince of Abu Dhabi and the Deputy Supreme Commander of the UAE Armed Forces Sheikh Mohammed bin Zayed Al Nahyan and their wishes to him and the Emirati people for further progress and prosperity. During the meeting, the two sides highlighted the strong fraternal relations between Bahrain and the UAE and noted its development in various fields. They also discussed the latest developments in the region and exchanged viewpoints on a number of issues of common concern. A conference entitled The Role of Education in Reinforcing Coexistence in Bahrain, which was organized by the Hamad Center for Global Peaceful Coexistence and patronized by His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa, was opened by the Minister of Justice and Islamic Affairs, Sheikh Khalid bin Ali Al Khalifa, on behalf of His Majesty. The minister affirmed that the principles of coexistence have become more necessary than ever, especially in light of the rise of Internet-powered media that can provide avenues for the spread of extremism and hatred. The minister said that coexistence requires collective work in order for it to be reinforced in the minds of Bahraini children and youth. The minister said that His Majesty's patronage reflects his vision that is based on promoting the values of peaceful coexistence, moderation and constructive dialogue based on inclusive citizenship, all of which have long characterized the values of the people of Bahrain. For his part, the Secretary General of the Center, Sheikh Khalid bin Khalifa Al Khalifa, affirmed that His Majesty's efforts in this field are intended to promote the Center's values of tolerance, moderation and dialogue. During the event, the former President of Bosnia and Herzegovina, Haris Seledacic, expressed thanks and gratitude for His Majesty the King for his patronage and leading the region in his promotion of the values of peace, coexistence, harmony and sustainable development. For his part, University of Bahrain Professor Nader Kadam discussed the history of Bahrain, which he said has shown the tolerance and coexistence are deeply rooted in Bahrain's society. Under the patronage of His Majesty, King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa, marking the International Day for Tolerance, the King Hamad Global Center for Peaceful Coexistence has organized a conference on the role of education and the values of tolerance in the Kingdom of Bahrain throughout history. I am very pleased to be here today at this conference, which has been organized by this center. His Majesty the King is uh, overseeing all of this and uh, I am pleased to be in this country because I think it's a very positive country, a country with values of tolerance, of coexistence and those values are the imperative of the day. If you want to survive as a civilization We'll have to live with each other and learn to live with each other.
The event highlights the support to all efforts that seek to promote interfaith tolerance throughout the world. Based on the vision of His Majesty, King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa, his approach and his keenness to spread the values of tolerance and coexistence among different people and promote constructive cooperation between countries. This ceremony and celebration which uh, upholds the human principles and upholds the vision of His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa, the King of Bahrain. And I am really proud that Bahrain is taking a lead through this center. It's taking a lead to tell the world that Bahrain is the place to come if you want to know how peace is created, if you want to know how coexistence, coexistence is created. We live in this country in total harmony, total coexistence, and we are proud of it. The Bahrain throughout history has managed to keep, to keep an image a real image of peace and tranquility. And that's why it is a favored destination for many people of the world to work as tourists and to live. Bahrain, since the beginning of the last century, also cited a number of the fatherly attitudes of the late Amir, His Highness, Sheikh Isa bin Salman Al Khalifa, and the role of the royal family towards different communities and religions in providing houses of worship education, and ensuring freedom and ensuring that all religious beliefs and rituals are practiced freely in Bahrain. We are proud that the Kingdom of Bahrain is celebrating the International Day for Tolerance. And this forum, which is under the patronage of His Majesty, King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa, is just one form of this celebration. Um, uh, this, uh, the theme of this forum is unique because it highlights the role of education in enhancing and absorbing, uh, absorbing um, principles such as tolerance and uh, uh, respect to other cultures and religions. The conference discussed a wide range of topics on the occasion of the International Day for Tolerance on November 13 out of the belief that such events would consolidate the principles of coexistence and tolerance, which highlights Bahrain's interest in spreading the culture of coexistence between civilizations and religions, for it has been known for hundreds of years. I was also part of this program that's called Faith and Leadership, and it's really important for me as for my country that it's gonna influence people a lot and gonna change the people how they think and their mind, and they're gonna be more aware of peace and coexisting, as this is the main goal of King Hamad Center for Peace and Coexisting. Also, I learned a lot in this program that like make me stronger and make me. Uh, like now I can influence people uh, more. So how can we can involve education with coexistence? Because without one, the other can't happen. For example, if we have education, we will be open-minded, we, we will be respectful people, individuals. Which means that when I talk to someone from a different country, from a different background, I will be able to respect them and understand where they're coming from and their understanding. This characteristic has been affirmed by the establishment of King Hamad Global Center for Peaceful Coexistence in addition to the legislations and texts in the national constitution to protect this cultural diversity, as well as the Manama Declaration, which is a living proof of Bahrain's commitment to promoting peace and tolerance in the world.